Stephen Love Menendez repairing vandalized flags Thursday for the second time this week at the Stonewall National Monument, the birthplace of the LGBTQ plus liberation movement. The trans flags make up a quarter of the flag display, so they went around the park and targeted specifically just the trans flags. There are some 250 flags encircling the park. PIX11 News was here on Monday after someone snapped off all of the flags on the south side of the park. The NYPD is currently looking for the men seen in this surveillance photo in connection with that crime. Menendez says he was alerted Thursday morning to this latest act of what he believes is a targeted, hate-fueled act of vandalism. Again, it's angering, it's frustrating, it's sad. I'm lucky enough to be friends with some Stonewall veterans and, and activists from many different periods of throughout our history. And so these flags are here to honor all of those people that fought for tirelessly for our rights. We noticed a new mounted surveillance camera next to the park, but its view is partially blocked by an adjacent tree. Additionally, there are no security lights toward the eastern end of the park. Being a gay Chinese queer, like, and just existing in this world is absolutely just you know, it's painful. Eric, who identifies as gender flexible and uses the pronouns he and she, says the hate put on display here is unacceptable, especially during Pride Month. An attack on one of us is an attack on every one of us. I'm disappointed simply because I would, I would assume in 2023, we would, as a human species, we would come so much far, farther than this. I'm just moved here, I'm staying here for a couple of months. I saw this, I thought it's the most beautiful, you know, representation of everyone. This is this is everyone in our community. Stonewall Inn, the Stonewall riot, riots, that happened, that was like led by trans members of the community that gave gay people their rights. Councilman Eric Botcher. And I want everyone to know who would consider intimidating our community, victimizing our community, that if you do that, you will be held accountable. And the pursuit for accountability continues. Detectives in the 6th Precinct still working this case. No surveillance photos yet of any suspects. If you have any information about this crime, you're asked to call the Crime Stoppers hotline. That number, 1-800-577-TIPS.